The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with forensic classes by Diksha and make your net forensic exam dreams come true. Download the app now. Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today's topic is criminology, its nature and scope. So in previous video, I have seen the definition of criminology. The word, this word criminology originates from Greek and Latin word, both the words. And we have seen all the basic definition and objective of criminology, right? So today we are seeing and we are understanding its nature and its scope. What is the nature of criminology? What is the scope of criminology? Why we study criminology and why we want to apply criminology in our criminal justice system? Okay, so I'll just make you uh, revise one thing that criminology word comes from Latin word, Latin and Greek. The second word that is logia, it means study of, study of something, whatever. Latin term is criminal or it is related to criminals. So it is related to criminals and criminal minds. And criminal minds. And study of criminal minds and study of criminals, their, their criminal behavior, their criminal intent will all come under criminology. Okay, so its nature is, the nature would be, the nature of criminology is science and art both. We cannot just say art, we can say sociology. Again, sociology is a science. So it is a combination of science and art because we are focusing on their behavior. Okay, so their behavior, their thinking pattern, the way of thinking, the way of behavior, the way of committing any act will come under its nature. Science is included because the scientific study, because we are studying scientifically, we are incorporating medical knowledge, we are incorporating psychological knowledge to in, to decode the encoded criminal intent and to decode the criminal mind and their criminal behavior will ultimately include the science. So it is combination of it is combination of it's combination of science and art. Science plus art criminology. Okay, and as I said that criminology deals with legal, psychiatric, it deals with, okay, so it's nature and scope, I'll write it, I'll write the heading like this, it's nature, nature and scope of criminology, okay, so criminology, so nature is clear now, what is the nature of criminology, what is the scope or what is the divisions we have, what are the explosive heads out of which what is the classification basically we can say so first we can like say that this is the this is the science which deals with it deals with it deals with legal psychiatric aspect legal psychiatric aspect of criminal behavior and criminal mind criminal behavior and criminal mind next we can say it includes medico psychological biological it includes it includes medical medical psychological me, 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 medico psychological it's better this term is better medico psychological Medical psychological aspect, biological aspect, biological aspect, and then sociological, sociological aspect to criminality, to criminality, to criminality and factors related to it. factors related to it okay so so this is the nature and this is the basic nature of psych psychology here we can say like here we can see the basic um what we can say subheads of psychology so it is given by this is according to it is according to w a the scientist or sociologist okay w a bonger criminology going to criminology criminology can be studied can be studied under under these these subheads okay so what are those 
First is your criminal anthropology. Criminal anthropology. It's criminal anthropology. Second, second subhead is criminal sociology. Criminal sociology. Third one is criminal. criminal psychology and after that you have one more criminal psychoneuro psychoneuropathology criminal psycho psychoneuropathology and then penology or penology okay so this was the basic subheads which is given by W. A. Bonger. So what is criminal anthropology? Okay, so we have like we have two things. First word is criminal and second one is anthropology. First word is criminal and anthropology. So what is criminal? Criminal is something who acts against the law. Okay, who acts against the law. A person Who, who acts, let's say, and the lawbreaker, the person who broke the law, who, okay, anthropology, anthropology, L-O-G-Y, again, it's a study of, it is study of humans, okay, anthropology, study of humans, so how study of human helps to understand criminal things? Okay, so study of human, either like this anthropology, we have two, uh, two, two sections of anthropology, physical anthropology and social anthropology. So social anthropology, social anthropology and we have physical. So we have social anthropology, we have physical anthropology. So social anthropology deals with the social makeup social makeup of that person who is criminal okay it's social environment the people in that particular person's uh, house or their parents or anyone so social makeup of a person social environment environment so the environment around us um, incorporated like in our behavior so the, the type of the type of environment we live in it greatly affects our behavior it greatly affects our um, the way we talk the way we think the way we uh, perceive things it gives like it, it gives the remarkable effect like, remarkable uh, impact it's, it's better to say impact so it gives you the remarkable impact on you okay so that's why that's why social anthropology will help to understand the social makeup of that person to understand the environment social environment of the person and um, nature of that person nature of that person or anything which is related to social factors okay then we have physical anthropology physical anthropology in which in which physical makeup physical let's say physical composition evaluation sorry evolution physical uh, what would be the better word so physical physical makeup of the person so sometimes what happens if everything is all right with social uh, aspects something if something is wrong with the physical appearance if something is wrong with the physical state and something is wrong with some physical things so that person may develop some criminal intent okay let's say if a person uh, is really weird looking so all the students in the school and colleges or in college used to bully that person and because of that for a, for for be like dealing with that thing that person has like that person develops a criminal intent because of that physical um physical environment because of the physical appearance ultimately it impacts that person socially that's why social thing is really very important in here okay that's why we like focus it is a branch of sociology criminology is a branch of sociology because social behavior social environment social nature of that person um is really very important okay so criminal anthropology is something which is related to anthropology and it relates to criminal okay so the person who breaks the law is a criminal so the criminal like we can 
we can correlate criminality through anthropologic manner so it can we can say that it seeks to understand personality to the offenders or physical terms okay so Caesar Lombroso was the first person who propounded the view of which eventually led to the origin of modern criminology so whatever just I said in a simple word it just deals with that okay the second thing what is the second thing it is your criminal sociology so it is basically it is basically completely on social things so it's criminal 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 sociology so criminal sociology deals with that person so that criminal social behavior social makeup social involvement or so in, in certain things okay then we have uh, psychiatric criminal psych psychology so all these things are interrelated to each other all these words and subheads are interrelated to each other again the word criminal the person who is involved in an unlawful activity that person psychology okay for example if a person is a thief so why he that person is a thief like that does that person likes to steal or it's just a uh, it's it's just for fun or it's just for some um, psychological fulfillment of some arrangement that mental arrangement and all that so it includes criminal psychology so criminal psychology is something in which we learn the criminal psychology so criminal psychology deals with the the, the type of act the type of uh, the, the nature of that act let's say let's say theft or let's say burglary and all that so criminal sociology basically deals with the social aspect of that criminal criminal uh, criminal uh, person okay and criminal psychology we are focusing on the psychology what is there in the mind which is, what is what like how that person will react to certain condition and things so it is criminal psychology then we have psycho neuropathology criminal criminal psycho neuro pathology so pathology is something which is related to any disease or disorder disease or disorder neuro means which is again uh, associated with your nervous system your nervous system psychology psycho means psychologically if that person is psychologically different or the psychological makeup of that person because of any nerval uh, sorry because of any neural disease or disorder that person's psychology is different different or challenged psychology okay so because of any neural disease or disorder if that person develops any psychological um, situation or psycho killers why we call psycho killers a psycho killer psychopath why we call them psychopath because they do not understand they do understand but, but they they sometimes uh, people when when they come out from that zone that let's say a person is a psycho killer and he killed or she killed 40 50 people and she is all criminal like she is involved in all the criminal activity but as soon as the identity is revealed she's all nervous and she's crying and she's saying she was not that person who did that so it's just a psychological disorder disease so this is just psychological dis disorder but here we have added pathology it means it is all scientific it is not only related with your brain it starts with your brain but it is reflected in the form of any disease and disorder which we can which we can um which we can get to know about like after which we can get to know after some pathological tests and examinations and because of that if particular type of a challenge happens to that person psychologically so this is psych uh, criminal psych uh, psycho neuropathology so we are talking about psychopaths psycho killers serial killers everything will come under this type of thing because like schizophrenia is a medical condition it, it is a pathological condition this is disorder in which that person develops different type of psychological way of thinking and this is because of some neural uh, because of some neural disease and disorder it can happen that's why it is criminal psycho neuropathology so we have to check what is wrong with that person's neuropathology psychologically okay then we have penology so penology is a uh, penal code or uh, something under which we can give punishment so it is like punishment if that person is not mentally sound not psychologically sound or he or she is not able to understand their act we cannot just penalize them like a normal people okay so penology is again a part of part of criminology so using the knowledge of criminology we can assess the uh, type of we can we can uh, come to a point where which like where uh, where we can um, decide a point where we can decide what type of punishment or penology should be uh, there for those people who are not mentally sound or who all are psycho killers or who all are psychopaths 
they like killing people they like killing children and all that so what type of punishment they should have okay it shouldn't be like normal people if that person is not mentally sound or if that person is mentally challenged in a psycho in a psycho way or in a psychopath way so what type of punishment we should decide so this is for the decision of punishment so this is something related with something related with punishment 